Welcome back, everybody. The time now is 651. We're going to take a look at some of your top stories in just a moment. But first, I believe we have uh, a guest from St. Luke's uh, joining us right now. I believe is St. Luke's uh, stroke program manager, Stephanie Shaver. Uh, Stephanie, hi. Good morning. Are you there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> hi. Yep, I'm here. OK, great. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. First question for you. What are some of the warning signs that everyone should know about when it comes to stroke? Well, we use the acronym in the stroke world called BFAST. And so the B stands for balance. So any sort of a balance loss. Um, the E stands for eyes. So any sort of a, a visual field loss in one or both eyes. Uh, the F stands for facial droop. So have the person smile. And if you see one side of the face kind of droop down, um, that's a good sign. And A stands for arms, so any sort of arm or leg weakness, and it's usually on one side of the body. And the S stands for speech, so any sort of a, a speech loss. Uh, maybe they come across as confused or not speaking at all, all, using funny words. And the T stands for time. Stroke is very time sensitive, so the T stands for time to call 911. Okay, and as I mentioned, you're the stroke program manager. What exactly does the program do for stroke patients? So the stroke programs um, are across the nation uh, use the best practice evidence-based care for these patients um, and coordinate many systems of care that are needed around stroke care. Uh, stroke care can be very complex, so this is a way for hospitals to organize the care of these patients to um, optimize their outcome and minimize dis disability from stroke. Okay, and of course, the COVID-19 pandemic may be keeping many people away from their primary care physician or even the emergency room, but emergency care, of course, is critical if someone is experiencing a stroke. What should they do in this case? Absolutely. So even during times of the COVID pandemic, um, hospitals across the nation are well prepared to provide stroke care, the same stroke care we've always provided um, in a protected manner. Um, so. You know, the biggest fear, I think, is, is individuals afraid of um, catching COVID by coming to the hospital. But we have protected pathways. Um, and absolutely, if you see any of those signs of stroke, um, 911 or report to the emergency room. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. We are about out of time. So last question for you. Where can people find out more information if they're looking for it? So you can find out more information on the American Stroke Association website, um, the St. Luke's website. And between those two, there's a plethora of resource. Perfect. All right. St. Luke's uh, Stroke Program Manager, Stephanie Shaver, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you.